dozens of injured British veterans who are using art to help them cope with their experiences of war. They're having their works displayed at a special exhibition in London. The charity Help for Heroes is mounting the event to showcase how personal battles against post-traumatic stress, depression and the anxiety of combat are being won. Here's Colleen Harris. I couldn't walk very well. I was in a wheelchair at the time. I was emotionally numb back then in 2014. I went into the art room and we sat down and we was asked to have a go at drawing. I'm sure if you spoke to my wife, she'll tell you that it's calmed me down quite a bit. The scars of war immortalised in the art of soldiers. This is a road to recovery of an artistic kind. My name's Tom Stimson. Uh, I served 26 years in the Royal Air Force and I'm now an artist. And that, that release of being able to put down on paper something that may be traumatic to talk about, I mean, it still causes emotion now. Um, but it's being able to recognise it. And I think back then, I couldn't even recognise it. I was so numb from coming back. Once discharged from the military and back to their families, isolation can kick in. So channeling trauma through talent is helping some veterans to adjust. I'm Kevin Preston. I served with the 1st Battalion called Stream Guard. I found it very difficult when I left. I couldn't handle civilian life at the time. And I hit the drink really hard. I'm in constant pain because I've had four spinal operations on my back and I've had one on my neck and I also suffered a stroke. But when I'm painting, sometimes it takes my mind off it and I tend to forget about it. It's not just visual art, it's poetry as well. One brief moment in history is where this began. For Corporal Mark Beckham, it's healing through words, but the memories linger. You're precious to me like a bright shining pearl. I'll never forget you, my little Kosovo girl. Colleen Harris, BBC News.